have a look at this picture as you can see there is a fine piece of art here but what do you think will happen to this fine piece of art after some time basically this ocean water which is moving will run over this art and just wash it away now the question is bound to arise why is this ocean water moving basically it's because of the moon and wind, wind action now the moon is not situated in the interiors of the earth it is an external factor and the forces which are arising out of this external factor that is moon are known as external forces or exogenic forces exo the prefix means exterior and we'll see a general idea about these in this video they originate within the earth's atmosphere these exogenic forces we'll study about that in a, a fair detail in this video and they modify the earth's crust what does this mean now you can see a clean and tidy beach over here it's just relaxing in its state in its original state but this dude tries to show off his skills and also his body so he just takes his shirt off and draws a car out of this available sand but then then this ocean thinks and says come on man this is my territory and no one messes with my territory and leave my beach alone so this water just runs over this art and just gets the we gets the beach done the way it was before so this is basically modification you are just trying to change the situations right then land wearing these are the land wearing forces what does this wearing force means remember when we were younger back in the school and we used to take all our hate off or make love to the tables we would scratch the tables right so that they could look ugly and the school teachers could feel its pain and we just used to scratch the tables so that they could look ugly and this scratching and taking some upper layer uh, or loosening the upper layer of the surface is wearing forces uh, this exogenic forces they are basically the sculpting forces in a similar way a sculptor uh, he sculpts an, a beautiful art out of an existing stone or existing slab a marble slab or any other thing so these basically these exogenic forces do the exact same thing and these exogenic forces processes are then subdivided in divided into weathering mass movements erosion deposition and these are again subdivided into lots of other things which will definitely say in the later parts and these exogenic forces are generally given a term denudation basically all of them whether it's weathering mass movements erosion or deposition they could be covered under under a general term that is denudation which means strip off or uncover basically this thing these elements are generated by wind uh, uh, sorry these elements are generated by the uh, exteriors of the earth that is the earth's atmospheric uh, uh, things and uh, these are termed as geomorphic agents the wind the water and the waves and we will study about these and their origin in the later part of the video and this geomorphic processes and geomorphic agents are basically one and the same why is it so because geomorphic process is the application of force process is in general application of force and agent is a mobile medium so what happens is if there is no mobile medium how could a force be applied at the first place right so process is a direct result of a mobile agent and that is why there is no need to state them separately that is why they are one and the same gravity and gradients are the two things which 
make these agents mobile. We'll see about it. So we are talking about the water being the geomorphic agent and everyone knows how a water is set up in motion. Basically the water from the oceans and other water bodies and also from plants they are the, that is evaporated due to the heat of the sun and this leads to formation of clouds which cool down and pour rains on the earth's surface. And due to these rains, the water uh, runs over the surface, all over the surface as streams and rivers. And these are the main reason or one of the main reasons for erosion to occur on the earth's surface. So basically we see here the idea is that sun is the driving force for the movement of this water. So the second thing we, talk, we, are, we need to know about is wind. Wherever there is warmth, wherever there is warmth, there is low pressure. And where there is cold, colder region, there is high pressure. So why is this warm, uh, this uh, piece of land warm and this piece of land cold? It's because of the varying degrees of energies provided by the sun. Again, the same guy. And as we know the cold air it is uh, at high pressure and it moves from high to low pressure and this setup sets up in motion of the wind and winds are prominent eroding factor so again the same guy sun is responsible for water movement as well as wind movement here you can see uh, the difference between the two big pictures the before and the after and this is definitely the work of an eroding agent or somewhat uh, like that and we talked about that gradients are responsible for the uh, waters or the other agents to be mobile and uh, why is this gradient created because of the tectonic factors or mostly so as you can see here, here's a mountain and a river forming out of that mountain. So when the tectonic plates, they collide, uh, many a times it leads to formation of mountains like the Himalayas. So what happens is, it gives an extra push or extra uh, force to the water so that it could carve out the beautiful sculptures out of the earth's crust. So if this gradient was lower, the earth, uh, the river would not be uh, so fast and so powerful to erode out the landforms which we see uh, in the existence uh, around us, right? So we already discussed about the wind, mo wind motion and uh, the pressure belts are uh, they basically move according to the apparent movement of the sun and these pressure belts give rise to formation of winds and trade winds and lots of other names are given to these winds and uh, basically these winds generated by this difference in pressure belts are one of the prime reasons why erosion occurs. Once again have a great time and I will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.